So can you tell us upon your preliminary examination, um, what did you, uh, what injuries did you observe to Gary Roden? Uh, I observed three gunshot wounds to the head. Okay. And were you able to visualize both entrance and exit wounds for those um, three gunshot wounds? There was only one exit that we could see. Um, there were, uh, I'm sorry, there are three exit wounds. Uh, sorry, there are three exit wounds. Okay. Um, how many exit wounds were on the face? There was one. Okay. Um, and then uh, where were the other exit wounds? There was an exit wound uh, on the right side of his face on his temple area, and there's a bullet exit wound. All right, Julie Rendleman, you were a former uh, homicide prosecutor in a very active uh, jurisdiction. What are your thoughts about how this case is going? And do me a favor, I, you know, we always do this as homicide prosecutors. Though. We always compare the gravity of one homicide, you know, versus another, as sick as that may be. What are your thoughts in rel relative to the cases you've tried? Well, I mean, I mean, look, she's she's doing the job she needs to do. You must establish for the jury um, what the cause and manner of death is. Now, as to what the relevancy is of, for example, whether there's rigor mortis, whether or not when the individuals were shot, where they were shot, I think the relevance is going to come in in several ways. One, I don't believe the death penalty has been completely ruled out. So that could be a factor if there's an issue with regards to the two cooperating witnesses. And the second thing is, is this testimony going to be corroborated by other evidence? Again, we go back to the cooperator. We're going to hear from a cooperator who's basically going to say when and how each of these individuals was killed. And is that going to be supported by the forensic evidence that comes from this doctor? So, it, you know, it's premature to tell you how this how this is relevant in terms we if in terms of anything until we hear the additional evidence and how it's corroborated right. by by any and all other evidence. Judge, I've got about 20 seconds, but what I want to ask is, what do you think about this case in terms of the magnitude of carnage that was created here based on other cases you may have handled as a judge? It's, um, and, and I live actually, um, I, I, and I presided not far from where this took place, the, 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 the ultimate uh, question of how it, how it's possible that one person did all of this or three people without right. waking up all these people is going to be incredibly interesting to find out. All right. Guys, listen, thank you so much. A great uh, analysis as always.